The American Red Cross asking healthy people to donate blood after hospitals reported a shortage during this crisis. This afternoon, Somerville Medical Center was able to collect donations from locals while social distancing as much as possible by using blood mobiles. News News Danielle Seda tells us more about these donations. The Red Cross tells me that COVID-19 has threatened the nation's blood supply. During this global pandemic, the need for blood and platelet donors is greater now than ever. There has been a lot of um, cancellations surrounding the concerns about this coronavirus outbreak. People aren't coming out and they're following the guidelines and they're staying home. Less donors mean less blood supplies for local hospitals like Somerville Medical Center, who tell me they're now enduring a critical shortage. And as the virus continues to spread, we continue to need more blood. In addition, we're very short right now. To help supply that demand, the Red Cross set up a donation center on wheels called the Blood Mobile that obtained samples while social distancing outside the Somerville Medical Center this afternoon. Before donors could help supply life-saving samples, there were a couple of requirements to keep the collection of blood clean and safe for patients and staff members. We are doing a screening assessment on everybody that comes into the blood mobile. In addition, we're taking temperatures to make sure that nobody has a fever that they're not aware of. Once evaluated, only two donors at a time were able to step inside the vehicle. This afternoon, I asked the Red Cross how safe blood Blood sample collection was at this time, and what would happen if one of the donors who gave blood today recently got the virus after donating? At this point, there's no data or evidence that supports that someone who is on the receiving end of a blood transfusion would be able to transmit COVID-19. But if the patient did in fact have it or they felt symptoms, they'd be asked to call the Red Cross, and their sample would then be located, quarantined, and thrown out just to be safe. In Somerville, Danielle Seda, count on two. If you'd like to donate to the American Red Cross, they ask that you speak with them over the phone first before showing up to a donation site. We have more details about donating blood on our website, countonto.com.